वेलकम बैक टू दिस नेक्स्ट एपिसोड ऑन एस ए पी बिजनेस टेक्नोलॉजी प्लेटफॉर्म ट्रेनिंग विद मी अनुभव इन दिस एपिसोड वॉट वी सॉ टूडे वॉज बिल्डिंग एन एंड टू एंड ओर इन सर्विस यूजिंग स्प्रिंग बूट जेपीए पर हैव ए वेरी यूनिक ट्रेनिंग डिजाइन फॉर डेवलपर्स अक्रॉस द ग्लोब विच विल हेल्प यू टू डिजाइन एंड बिल्ड ए नेटिव क्लाउड अप्लीकेशन विद माइक्रो सर्विस अप्रोच यूजिंग स्प्रिंग एंड जावा इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल what we saw was building an odata service using spring jpa so let me just summarize what we did today session we started with understanding of olingo framework we saw what is basics of odata <coughs> we have seen that in order to implement odata what are all the different components you need so we need a web servlet which will serve as a endpoint so i will have my service name as anubhav svc then we have implemented a odata service factory class which is going to return object of annotation processor and source classes then we have a standard odata interface which is what gives you the standard flow for implementing curd queue operations now since our complex data model includes vendor and address data which is association we went ahead and we enrich our entities with extra bit of annotations to serve them as a o data so we added these annotations to serve them as a o data then we implemented vendor o data agent which implements technically the o data interface for all the curd queue operations into the system so we are using spring jpa here so we auto wire the dependency on vendor api which is spring jpa api and then you can see when we have a get entity called which is very similar to abap comparison of get entity set vendor set get entity set if you are an abap developer and moving to java with spring boot you can compare it like that and that's where we return all the data out similarly i've implemented all the curd queue operations for our vendor entity set when i start my spring boot project locally to test locally what i get is my entry point with anubhav svc that's my entry point we have registered two entity sets and entity type which are also visible to me and now i can go back and test vendor set entity set <coughs> this gives me the data now i have currently three records you can also do a dollar count you can see we've got three records i'll go back to my fury app which is running locally using the plain spring api which we developed in the last session and i will insert a new record here perhaps let's put ibm and i say wiki rohan and i say demo at gmail.com anubhavtrainings.com and gst number let me save this record the record has been saved and if i go back to my odata and do vendor count now if i refresh i've got one more record inserted fantastic the same can be done with the postman because we implemented the curd queue operations so now i go to my anubhav svc and here i will put the vendor set entity set and we will pass the post payload so let me pass sap and i say amit kumar and i can say amit sap at sap.com and let me post this and perhaps this also works you can see a new record has been inserted fantastic you can go back and refresh you can see now we have got total five records so both from your spring boot microservice from fiori and also from odata post is working fine as a next step what i will do is i will do a get of vendor in json format to show you all the data set wow wow as a next step what we will also do we can perform all the dollar top and query operations what you do with basic odata you can see dollar top works fantastic i can also do a dollar skip and dollar top together but more interestingly what i wanted to do is i wanted to also filter all my friends who are working with sap so i say dollar filter company name equals to sap and voila i have got two of my friends as a output this is fully managed by the olingo framework did you also notice that we've got in a complex data model where we have also dependency on other entities like address a vendor can have multiple addresses 
and we have this dependency also exposed out as part of O data service. So a complete end-to-end -end O data service would help you on the cloud as a microservice to serve to the Fury applications without any ABAP stack using Olingo framework. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more interesting videos like this and detailed training on SAP Cloud Platform with Spring Boot and Olingo framework, please subscribe our training on anubautrainings.com. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next class.